Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins and I'm really excited today because I get to introduce to you a brand new textures collection. This is called Opulence. These are just some of the cards that I've created using the collection. Um, I think some of you are going to be really excited by this particular die because it's similar um, to a die set that has sold out three times already. We're not going to be getting that one back. This is a new design, but a similar concept. Um, so yeah, shall I get through the products with you and then we'll quickly go through those cards in a bit more detail. So this is the die set that I was just talking about. Now in the Magnolia Drive collection, we had a stamp and die set. The stamp was a halftone stamp. It was the die that everyone was crazy for, and that was as a Magnolia, Magnolia Drive. This one in the Opulence collection is Peonies. It's absolutely beautiful. It's huge. Um, you can snip into it. You can use just part of it. It is an outline die. So if I show you the size, you've seen it on those cards already. That's the die that you're getting. It's absolutely stunning. And then you do get the border as well, or the drop shadow die too. It cuts perfectly every time. This is an A5 stamp. Again, I wanted a large stamp. I wanted lots of really ornate detail. But with this, I also wanted you to be able to use part of it. And I've done exactly that in some of my projects, which I'll show you throughout the coming weeks. Um, there's lots going up on my YouTube channel. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of these projects. So this is this beautiful flourish and it stamps with all that shading in. It is so pretty. Sticking with the stamps for a moment, we also have this very vintage style floral detail stamp. Now you can see all that detail, it's kind of like a vintage sketch, you can make it into like a vintage print. It is again beautiful and you can just use part of the image if you prefer to use your smaller cards. Again, I'll show you an example of that in a moment. Now these next two items in the collection are brilliant. This is uh, not a new concept, it's actually quite an old concept of having dies within embossing folders. Now I wanted this, but I also am really passionate about keeping the price of my items down as low as possible for you. I wanted to have one embossing folder with about eight different dies in there. There'd be keys and locks, there'd be plaques, all sorts in there. But to do this and have, say, eight to ten dies in one embossing folder, it was going to be ridiculously expensive for you. So what we've done is we've got the both best of both worlds. We've split them across two folders so you can choose which kind of style you prefer or, of course, get both. And then on the other half of the folder, so you can just see the dies are at the top of each one. So that's the plaques on this one and the keys and the locks on this one. But then you've also got additional embossed details, so script and flourish that you can use for your backgrounds too. These are going to be perfect for A2 size cards if you're in the US, A6, 5x7 if you're in the UK. Um, obviously you can also use them for your squares and cut them down. So you've kind of got an emboss and a cut emboss in both folders there. Now textures wouldn't be textures without some words. So we have got two large sentiment dies. You can use these with lots of different styles. Uh, let me just separate them. So you've got the word love and you've got the word birthday there. Nice bold words. They're kind of vertical so you can fit them onto different shape and size cards. Because they're so big and they're so bold, you can decorate them as much or as little as you like. They're going to be suitable for your plain, bold, kind of masculine cards. They're going to be suitable for really flourished, flowery, ornate cards as well, depending on how you decorate them and how you colour them. So these are just going to be a staple in your stash. Like I say, the word birthday and the word love, you're just going to use those all the time. Then we get on to some layering features. So we've got layering stamps here. These are going to create what is one of my favourite designers kind of styles. That's William Morris. Um, I absolutely lo love, love, love William Morris prints. And I've kind of got this. It's not his print. We haven't used that design. It's completely our own design. But we've got it in two stages. So you can stamp just one if you want to. But when you stamp it with the second layer as well in a different colour or different effect, which I'll show you, um, you are going to get this fabulous two-tone pattern for your backgrounds and for your pattern paper. Now with this, it is also a repeating stamp. So each of the edges will repeat side to side and top to bottom. So if you do 12 by 12 scrapbooking, you're easily going to be able to fill your background with this if you want to. If you do larger cards or art journals or you just want to do a longer strip of pattern paper with this, 
you can do that too everything ties up and you can kind of see that here where the bottom of this tile then leads into the pattern at the top of this one so you see that swirl there uh, hopefully you can just see that the same goes for the two sides as well so they lead into each other really nicely so very very easy to repeat I've got video tutorials coming up with all of these products on my YouTube channel like I say over the coming uh, week or two so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of them this is another staple for your stash these are the layering frames they're nice big ornate frames in fact Mine are a bit messy because I've been playing with them for weeks. But as you can see, each frame has a different detail. You've got an embossed detail there. You've got score line detail. You've also got some that won't cut out. So, for example, let's break these away a little bit. Uh, this one here, it has the cut edge and then it has, you use it with a rubber mat. You've got this beautiful ornate detail. You've got this large one here. Let me just separate them that one doesn't have the edges okay so you're cutting out this into the back of your panel of cardstock again you could just use half of it you could use it to create a card base if you wanted to score down the middle and you've got this beautiful ornate shaped card base i've got some low tack tape on there still but then if you wanted to use this and actually cut out the card base you can use the outer die if you want to cut it out so it's just a frame you can also then use the inner die and you can use these dies separately too then you've got this frame as well which is another one you use your rubber mat and you can do your embossing and scoring with that too um, I'm not sure if I showed you this one here, but this has got some beautiful scored and embossed detail also. So essentially you've kind of got five frames within there in total. I've missed one out, I think there must still be one in the packet, this one here with this sort of zigzag feature. They're going to be ideal for snipping into, for framing your cards. I love to spotlight frame elements. So for example, you could cut your flower, you could spotlight frame with one of these rectangles somewhere and just colour in that area, making your cards super quick for you. There's lots of ideas with those. And again, you'll see more in the examples in a moment and in the coming weeks. And then back to layering, which is what, of course, Textures is all about. We've got our or ornate layering stencils. This is the first time I've done four large stencils like this I've done layering stencils before so we had the clouds for example they were fa fabulous had to restock those they just kept selling out these are going to give you beautiful backgrounds in any color way you want now I've done it so I've actually added gold embossing to one of the layers as well um, but they are so pretty this on the front here is just an example use nice bright colors so you can see all the different layers put together they are just absolutely so, so so pretty I just can't get over it it's a5 in size but this is going to mean you can cut it down to five by seven you can cut it down to a2 or if you're in the US a6 if you're in the UK you can cut it down to five by five if you want to four by four whatever suits your style of card making uh, and you can use absolutely any four colors and don't forget your background paper will be your fifth color as well so let's have a quick look through some of the cards that I've created with this collection so far. Let's pop those back in there. Um, this is just a handful of them because I want to keep some as kind of surprises for you over the few weeks coming up. Um, so this is that beautiful stamp in gold embossed I've then used some inking I've got one of the gold frames and I've also got this plaque that's been uh, I've embossed it this has actually come from the cut and emboss folder so that would be this one just here produced with love 2024 um, and I've used gilding wax over it so it's just black cardstock a little bit of twine I've, uh, that's my favorite I think this kind of encapsulates everything that the collection is all about being ornate and beautiful then we've got this the this kind of vintage florals that I was talking about so the floral detail stamp in here this one is a tutorial that's going to be on the craft stash youtube channel showing you how to get this cracked glass effect it's really easy i love the vintage look of it you can see one of those frames i've used there as well that i was just showing you a moment ago um, and with this again i've used part of the image i haven't used the whole image but i like to give you the option to use a large image and then snip into it 
whichever part you want to use. So I chose to use the flowers on the right hand side of my card here. I could do this twice and I'd still have enough on the left hand side to use on a separate card, whether it be a DL or a smaller card. You know, so you've got lots of versatility with this stamp. Now coming to what I think is going to be the most popular part, that's the decorative outline. So this is what it looks like when you uh, colour in the background. I've got a tutorial that's going to be going up um, tomorrow, Friday the, I think it's Friday the 12th of April. That's going to be on my YouTube channel showing you how to make this card. I haven't even put a sentiment on there yet. Um, I'll do that when I'm sending it and I know what sentiment I want to put on there, but just to show you how to easily make this card base using those dies, it is really easy. Um, yeah, so excited. Make sure you stay tuned for that one. Then I've used the same die again, a completely different technique here. It's a different card. It's a top fold. Um, I've used that die, die cut and I've used watercolours. Again, very, very easy to do. There will be a tutorial for this one coming up as well. This is a video that's already out. So I actually gave you a sneak peek recently showing you how to do the Joseph's, uh, the Technicolor Joseph's Coat uh, effect. So this is looking like um, coloured or ombre coloured embossing powder. That went up on my channel a week or two ago. Um, but that's using, of course, the swirl stamp, the full background. It's just stunning. Now, this is using rainbow colours, but you could go with absolutely any colour that suits your recipient or your style of crafting. This is that repeating stamp. So that stamp tile, uh, let's just grab this for you so you can have a look at it. As you can see, the sort of background effect that you're getting. I've also used, of course, the word love over the top embossed in gold. I've used this layer here on the stamp embossed in gold, and this was just stamped in blue. And you can't see the join line. So this is actually two of these stamps. I stamped it twice and layered it twice. Um, and you can't see the join because they tile together perfectly. I've used the gold in the love uh, to match the gold in the background so it kind of all works together. A very, very simple card, but yeah, really, really pretty. I love that layering stamp. I'll use that a lot to create my own backgrounds. Then the last one I'm going to show you, this has an eclipse effect. So you can just see the word birthday in the background there but the background has been created using these stencils. Now I've got numerous different colours in here because I've actually gone with a pale blue pattern, or sorry, a pale blue plain paper in the background. Different colour blues and teals for the stenciled images. One of the stenciled layers I've actually used embossing ink and then gold sparkly embossing powder to get this really ornate look. I have so many ideas for this, so many different colourways I'm going to use. I want to do a monochrome one. I want to do them um, bright colours. I want to do them kind of just all golds and silk. There's just so many ideas. And this collection has actually got me really buzzing to keep creating constantly. Um, so I hope you like this collection as much as I do. You're going to find all the details down below for Firstly, any videos that are available for you or going to be available very soon that you can watch. Now, I do also have available for you a project booklet. This is a PDF download. It's on my blog. I'll link my blog down below for you. You can download that before you even receive the products and you can see step by step how to put these all together, the cards that I'm showing you in the booklet. There's um, six in total. There's also links to then the tutorial videos too, so you can see them before they're even published on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please let me know in the comments whether you love this collection, which elements you might be purchasing, um, and what you think of the cards as well. And I hope to see you again all very soon on my channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.